Growing up, my musical environment was pretty eclectic. You know, I grew up with my dad who liked classic rock, like Kansas and Journey, and, and my mom was really into like country, like Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton and stuff like that. So I ran the gamut a little bit. Uh, my dad played guitar growing up, so I always used to watch him play guitar. In fact, one of the first riffs I learned was one that he had taught me when I was like a little kid, and I did learn it. I'm left-handed and he's right-handed, so I had to learn it upside down. And, um, but yeah, music was, it was never like up front, you know, it was never just like in my face, but it was always kind of on the peripherals. And so when, when I got old enough to start appreciating it and start playing guitar and stuff like that, the basis had been laid by that point. I jumped around so much, like I'd listen to a record for a week and just burn it out and then be like, okay, I'm done with that, I'll find something else. And so I was kind of consistently influenced by new things. I think until the age I was like 12 or 13, I listened to primarily country, Garth Brooks, Travis Tritt, stuff like that. I do still find those influences in what I do. I, I, I think more in a general sense. Um, you know, obviously, I, I, I play in a rock band and I have, you know, these guitars that I turn up really loud and that probably comes from, you know, being into the, in, into like 90s rock. But then I've always found, especially with country music, like a really strong sense of melody. And so I always try to adhere to that. So I, I guess in that sense, Maybe there's a little bit of country influence on in what I do, but not like, you're not gonna hear like a lap steel or a fiddle or anything like that.